Well, you don't always want to be in front of the fire, but if you're trying to... Welcome to the next and hopefully the last uh, episode of this development series I've been doing um, on this really awesome update, uh, free right, update coming one. to Emerging YC. Crew of four, we're heading down, trying to flank the fire and get a, a line cut in front of it. This really could be its own separate game at this point, uh, but I, I don't want to go that route. I'd rather this be a free update for anybody who already has the game and just add on to like everything that the game brings. While working on this update, I wanted to make sure I didn't cut any corners. I wanted to make sure I could simulate and encompass the lifestyle and uh, tactics that wildland firefighters use. My end goal has been to make the most realistic wildland firefighting game. And they'll turn into logs, but these trees that are down can still burn, so we need to we need to cut them up more. I'm working on a line right now. It's, it's working pretty well. Yeah, our line's uh, almost to the edge of the the uh, canyon. Let's see if it holds now. Get that tree on fire? Yeah. Just don't let it roll down here. Let's see if this line holds right now. This will be pretty sick if it does. Yep. Timber. <clears throat> Solid fire line right there, if you ask me. Yeah, for sure. I'm making a double it. right now. I'm working on an extended thing. Keep in mind is you need to yeah. So clear all the the brush from the area. Let's get this tree cut down right here. There's still some the brush tree cut down. Here. Clear grass. This, needs, this all needs to happen in like 60 seconds. Like I'll say like prepare to deploy. Then we'll do this. This looks like a good enough area. You drop all your tools, and then you are uh, coming down. And then you deploy your shelter. The fire shelters protect you in case you're overrun by a fire. It's pretty much a last resort. Uh, I added the bulldozer in case there were areas where you could access where you wanted to cut a line uh, and you needed to do it quickly. In this case, in the back of this neighborhood, uh, I've made a very big line with the bulldozer to protect the neighborhood. A ton of suggestions for this one. Uh, the tanker can fill it up, go refill and come back and fill it up and units can draft from it and the helicopters can pick up. The Bambi bucket was another really cool addition that I, I like to Im implement. Uh, yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. Now this is something that I teased in the first Montgomery County trailer and it's finally here. I really didn't think it was going to work well but we now have airplanes in Montgomery County and they work really well. Fire retardant is really effective in preventing the spread of a fire to a certain area. However, if that area is already on fire it won't uh, do much. The only, re the only downside to the fire retardant is every drop you need to come back to the airport and refill at the refill station at either end of the runway. So while it's effective, it is uh, time consuming as well. This tube allows you to continue moving forward and not need to slow down while refilling your water supply. And once you're done with it, you can bring it back up. The Super Scooper was definitely a test of my abilities as a game developer to try to combine the air and water vehicle. Uh, I managed to do it pretty well and with the Super Scooper you can drop large amounts of water and refill pretty quickly by landing in the lake and taking off without needing to come to a complete stop. If you're like me and you're a real world pilot and a long time flight simmer, uh, you can really appreciate a good flight simulator and I wanted to make a good one so I wanted to make sure that you could use your 
joysticks, controllers, uh, yokes, rudder pedals, throttle quadrants um, to fly in, in the game, whether it's a helicopter or a fixed wing. Uh, it flies really well with the joysticks. You can tell by now, um, I've been posting comments of people's suggestions and we really, I really listen to the community when it comes to what you guys want to see in the game and what makes it more realistic and enjoyable. Alright, keep that line down by the houses, don't go all well the way. Yeah. My guy's got his hand in his hip and he looks up. The drip torch is used to start uh, back burns or controlled burns where you basically burn ahead of the fire to go ahead and burn off its fuel source so that when it gets there it's sort of as a buffer. Helmet customization lets you pick out your color and style to set you apart from other firefighters. In this case I was doing a back burn, we cut a line. I wanted to go ahead and burn off the fire's uh, main source of fuel and in this case it worked pretty well. We had air support come in and make a couple drops Put your siren on so we know you're coming. <laughs> and we had the fire knocked down and continued. Good job, good job.